Hello everyone, this is group 2. We will be discussing about processed food industry. What is food industry? A food that has undergone any changes to its natural state such as washing, milling, shopping, heating, pasteurizing, canning, freezing, drying, packaging, and etc. As well as other ingredients are also added such as preservatives, flavors, nutrients, and food color. From this definition, almost all food products sold in supermarkets are processed to some extent. For the background and history of food processes, 1.5 million years ago, cooking was invented by adding heat to meats, seeds, and vegetables. At the age of 96, 9600 BC, preservation techniques, drying, smoking, and salting foods were invented. For the 1800s, pasteurization and canning was invented. For the 1900s, ready-to-eat meals were made. And lastly, for 2000s, food and safety regulations were implemented. Types of processed food under the NOVA classification. So the first is the unprocessed or minimally processed foods. They are slightly altered for preservation and does not change the nutritional content of the food. Processes such as cleaning, grinding, and pasteurization are considered under this classification. An example is fresh fruits, vegetables, whole grains, mix, and others. Next is processed culinary ingredients. These foods are not eaten on its own, but used to prefer minimally processed food. An example would be flour and pasta. Next is the processed foods. Uh, these foods are usually added with salt, sugar, or fats. An example would be canned fruits, canned fish, and other canned goods that we find in the market. And lastly, we'll have the ultra-processed foods, foods with added artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives. Uh, this is commonly found on soda, hot dogs, nuggets, lunch and meat, sweetened breakfast cereals, and many others. Generally, a food is more processed if it has more ingredients listed on the packaging. Milk production happens first in farm then in factory. Uh, as we all know, uh, milk comes from cows. Uh, in milk collection, a mechanical vacuum milking machine is used to milk cows. This is more efficient as opposed to hand milking. Uh, cows are also milked uh, twice per day. Afterwards, this milk is then sent to a refrigeration tank where it is cooled to 4.4 degrees Celsius. Uh, in less than 48 hours, uh, a milk tanker Rock, collects the milk where it's then transported to a milk processing plant. Uh, in the factory, samples from the milk tanker are first tested for antibiotics and temperature. If the milk does not meet the quality standards, then it is rejected. But if it is approved for use, then it undergoes processing. The first is clarification, which removes debris, some bacteria, and sediments in the raw milk. Then, the milk is fortified by adding necessary amounts of vitamins A and D. Uh, this is done in order to prevent nutrient deficiency and also to increase bone strength. Uh, the next step is an important step uh, which is uh, pasteurization. This process heats the milk to 72 degrees Celsius for about uh, 15 seconds and then cooled immediately in order to kill bacteria such as Staphylococcus and Coxiella burnetii. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, milk pasteurization is not only limited to milk as it is also done in other products uh, such as juices, cheese, butter, and beer. Uh, afterwards, the milk is homogenized in order to ensure that the milk fat is evenly distributed throughout the milk. Finally, it is then packaged into cartons or plastic bottles. The first step in hot dog production is by mixing meat trimmings, curing ingredients, and flavorings inside a high-speed chopper. A meat trimmings are meat scraps that are too small to be sold individually. So if you are wondering whether a hot dog is made out of real meat, 
then yes, it is made out of real meat. Uh, meanwhile, curing ingredients such as salt, water, sodium nitrate, and sodium erythorbate are added in order to improve taste and improve shelf life. Uh, the flavorings added may either be natural or artificial, but hot dogs typically uses both. Uh, extenders may also be added in order to increase the quantity of hot dogs produced. Uh, the mixing processes is done until a smooth paste-like mixture is obtained. Uh, afterwards, the meat mixture is fed into an automatic stuffer and linker machine. Uh, the meat mixture is placed in the cellulose casings which will produce a hot dog uh, with a long link strand of equally sized. Next, uh, the hot dog is cooked under controlled uh, temperature and humidity conditions for about an hour. Uh, afterwards, the hot dogs are showered with water in order to reduce their temperature. Then, it is sent into a peeler where the cellulose casings are removed, leaving only bare hot dogs. Uh, last is packaging where the hot dogs are wrapped in a plastic film and then into sealed packages. Water is the primary ingredient for carbonated drinks. However, water is first cleaned through several processes. First is coagulation in which ferric sulfate or aluminum sulfate is added to water. This absorbs uh, suspended particles and makes them larger so that it can be easily filtered. Sand filter is used in filtration to remove these particles. Then, a small amount of chlorine is added into the water in order to sterilize it and destroy bacteria. After about 2 hours, the water is dechlorinated by using an activated carbon filter which also removes organic matter not caught by the sand fil filter earlier. The now cleaned water is mixed with sugar and flavorings. During mixing, pasteurization is also done in order to make sure that the resulting mix is perfectly sterilized. Next is carbonation, which infuses carbon dioxide into the liquid. The carbon dioxide pressure is dependent on the type of soda being produced. For example, fruity drinks require less carbonation than tonic drinks. The temperature must also be controlled during carbonation as the carbon dioxide solubility increases as the temperature decreases. Lastly, the product is sent for packaging in bottles or cans, where it is sealed with pressure-resistant closures. For major companies involved in processed food industry, we have three local companies and three international companies. For local companies, first we have San Miguel Food and Beverage Incorporated, which was founded in 1953. It is the Philippines' leading food and beverage company. Their sector operates through branded value-added, including the processing and marketing of value-added refrigerated meats and canned products. They also sell butter, margarine, cheese, milk, and other processed goods. Second is the CDO Food Spear Incorporated. It is one of the country's most successful and multi-awarded food companies. Its founders began with handmade meat products and eventually expanded into their dream business which produces processed foods such as San Marino Tuna, Fantastic Young Portocino, Idol Cheese Dog, and Canned Meats. Then lastly is Century Pacific Food Incorporated. The company was mainly involved in the business of purchasing and selling, processing, canning, packaging, and producing various types of food and food products. Additionally, the company's current Primary business sectors, sectors are as follows. Canned and processed fish, which produces tuna, sardines, and other fish and seafood-based products. They also manufacture canned meat, which produces corned beef, meatloaf, luncheon meat, and other meat-based products. And also dairy and mixers, which produces canned milk, powdered milk, and other dairy products as well as coffee. Moving on to international companies. First, we have Hormel Foods Corporation. Hormel was founded in 1891 with the main function of packaging and distributing of processed products. 
like ham, spam, sausage, and other pig, poultry, beef, and lamb goods to people. And then Hormel expanded its product line to include packaged and refrigerated meals. Second is Libby's Brand Holding. It is a licensed brand to several companies around the world. Libby's is a canned food and beverage brand established in 1869. The company started by selling canned meat products such as beef in brine or corned beef. It gained national attention in 1875 when it started packaging the meat in trapezoid shaped cans. And then lastly, we have the Wonderless International. It is the leading snack manufacturer which produces famous global and local brands of snacks such as Oreo, Belvita, LU Biscuits, Cadbury Dairy, Dairy Milk, Milka and Toblerone Chocolate, and many more. They were considered as one of the world's biggest snack manufacturer. So for the statistical data, we first look onto the global perspective. For the next coming years, there is an expected rapid growth in global demand of processed food. This is due to the fact that the global population is increasing and also to the change in people's lifestyle. The industry is expected to reach a value of $4.1 trillion by 2024, with a compound annual growth rate or CAGR of 4.3% from 2019 to 2024. Among the products in the industry, Processed fruits and vegetables will experience the highest growth due to the increasing number of people who follow a vegan diet. Now, let's look at the top 5 countries in food market. In terms of food market revenue, China, United States, India, Japan, and Russia are the top 5 countries with highest revenue in the industry. From the data, $1.26 trillion revenue on China means that almost a quarter of global 4.1 trillion revenue is on China alone. Here in the Philippines, a similar growth trend is also expected. The processed food industry accounts for 50% of the country's total manufacturing output, and 90% of the produced product processed food is consumed locally. Export opportunities are also expected to rise due to the competitiveness of the industry and also due to the membership in some free trade agreements. In particular, exports are predicted to grow in East and Southeast Asian markets. In deeper, let's look into the ultra price food sale for each region. For regions of North America and Australia, Europe, Africa, and Central and East Asia, Baked goods rank first. For South America, it's dairy, and sauces, dressings, and condiments for South and Southeast Asia. It can also be seen that sauces, dressings, and condiments are among the top three of all the regions, while dairy belong to top three of all regions except North America and Australia. For the ultra price drink sales, all regions except Asia considered carbonated drinks, juices, and sports and energy drink as their top three beverage. While for Asia, it is carbonated drinks, ready to drink tea, and juices, respectively. Unlike other industries which experienced stagnation on the onset of the COVID 19 pandemic, the processed food industry experienced a surge in demand. In particular, snacks and baking goods were the most sought-after products. This may be attributed to the fact that the loss of jobs caused by the pandemic caused a lot of people to start their own baking businesses at home. It also increased the demand for non-perishable foods, particularly in Italy and China. However, we must keep in mind that processed foods may lead to some health risks. This is due to the fact that processed food contains preservatives and other chemical additives. Aside from that, ultra-priced foods with saturated fats, sugar, and sodium contributes to chronic diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, and obesity. Nonetheless, processed food is not always unhealthy. As a matter of fact, processed or ultra-processed food still retains some nutrients such as protein. 
fruits that are quickly frozen after harvesting retains most of its vitamin C. Nutrients may also be added in order to combat nutrient deficiency, such example as infant milk. Also, processes such as pasteurization inhibit the growth of harmful bacteria. So here are the list of the references we use in this report. So once again, we are group two, and thank you for listening.